Have you spoken to her since you heard the news? Um, I just sent her a quick text message this morning just to say congratulations and no doubt she'll be shopping in some baby stores soon. It's really exciting very news, exciting, I think. Very exciting, very yeah. exciting. Obviously, we're all very disappointed that we're not going to get to see her in the Commonwealth Games in the summer in Glasgow. Do you think she'll be disappointed? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's obviously a huge disappointment for the Commonwealth Games. However, you know, we do have athletes out there that are, are going to shine and, you know, bring home medals for England and that's the really promising promising thing um, but obviously she was named a, as an ambassador last year so I think that's a huge blow but we've got Katerina Thompson Johnson to look forward to and I think that's definitely where I'm going to pin our medal hopes. Okay, you know, well um, um, obviously from her statement it sounds as though she actually had to think about whether she was actually going to call an end to her athletic career. She says that she had to give it two weeks thought about whether or not she would pick up her training in time for 2016. Do you think she actually thought about packing it in? Well, I think this throws a huge question mark over Jessica's ability to continue, especially in the heptathlon. It's not like, um, you know, we've, we've spoken before about Paula Fair. Radcliffe and Shelley Rudman who have come back into their careers to have been very successful and having babies. But the heptathlon is very different. There are seven events that seven you've events. got to be at the top of your game for. Exactly. You know, the question is the high jump, the long jump, those events are very kind of high in impact. And so it really does throw a question as to physically will she be able to cope with... Um, you know those events in particular but also the level of training that you have to um, do in order to be competitive in the event and so she's I think... incredibly fit isn't yes. she yeah and uh, she'll have what a couple of years to get herself back in shape well I guess you know all being well perhaps 18 months prior to to Rio and I think the question is perhaps you know if she wants to return to athletics, because I guess as a new parent, you have to take it every day, you know, day by day. And, you know, as an athlete, you have to decide whether you're physically able to be competitive again. And so I think knowing Jessica and the athlete she is, if she sets her mind to it, then there's no doubt we'll see her back out on that track. However, I think it's a question of what event as opposed what to... Think, what do you think she'd choose if she wasn't a she's head an, athlete? She's an outstanding 100 metre hurdler. You know, she ran an incredible time at London 2012. And I think that, um, you know, the training that you need to sustain uh, a training programme post-baby would support that perhaps of a 100 metre hurdler. So we'll see how yeah, she goes. But Well, there's been lots of tweets from other sportsmen and women, which are very nice to read. Linford Christie says, congratulations to you, Jessica. Children, even better than an Olympic gold medal. Very sweet. And Paula Radcliffe, lovely news this morning. Jessica and Andy expecting their first child. Happy and excited for you. She says she's going to make the baby her priority now. Oh, she's got to. I think that's, you know, what any new mum would plan to do. And I'm sure that her and uh, Andy are going to make a really great job of it. They're great people and they make fantastic parents. Um.